welcome students previously we have completed divide and find the question and remainder from question number 1 to 9 today we will be continuing from question number 10 onwards uh, in question number 10 and 11 we will divide and check the answer so let's check how to divide today's date Nineteen six twenty twenty exercise three point three question number ten divide and check the answer divide and check the answer 10th question is one eight one eight two eight divided by 175 in this question we will be following the fourth property of division which is divisor into quotient plus remainder equals to dividend once again divisor into quotient divisor into quotient plus remainder equals to dividend okay so here we will be solving this question Look at the video very carefully. Here 175 is the divisor and 1,81,828 is the dividend. So here at this part we can create a rough so that we can multiply and get the table of 175 so check first check 175 is a three digit number so it will divide first three digit okay check 181 is greater than 175 or not here it is clearly visible that 181 is greater than 175 so take 175 ones are 175 okay now 11 minus 5 is 6 7 minus 7 is 0 and here also 0 what comes down 8 now 68 is a two digit number we cannot divide a two digit number by a three digit number so what we can do take zero 175 into zero equals to zero now subtract it we have got 68 what comes down next two the value is 682 now we need to check 682 is there in 175 table or not Okay, for this we will be multiplying 175 into 4 first. Okay, 4 5s are 20, 4 7s are 28 plus 2, 33, 4 1s are 4 plus 3, 7. 175 into 4 equals to 700, which is greater than 682. So we will not be taking this number. So take 175 into 3 3 5s are 15 1 goes here 3 7s are 21 plus 1 22 3 1s are 3 plus 2 5 so we have got 175 into 3 equals to 525 which can be used here so take 175 into 3 equals to 525 okay now subtract it 
12 minus 5 is 7. What is left here? 7. 7 minus 2 is 5. What is left here? 6. 6 minus 5 is 1. Now the value is 157. What comes down next? 8. Here we have got 1578. So we have to check is it there in 175 stable. So it is a big number and a 4 digit number. So we will be multiplying it a greater number. So let's take 9. 175 into 9. 9 fives are 45. 4. 9 7 are 63 plus 4 67 6 9 1 are 9 plus 6 is 15 1575 is smaller than 1578 so we can take 9 9s are 1575 now subtract 8 minus 5 is 3, 7 minus 7, 0, 0, 0. So here we have got quotient equals to 1039 and the remainder as 3 only. Here we have done the division. Now the next part is what? We have to check. Check. To check it, we will be using the fourth property of division which is divisor into quotient plus remainder equals to dividend. So here we are writing divisor into quotient plus remainder equals to dividend keep these two in bracket what we have got as divisor 175 right here what is the quotient 1039 what is the remainder 3 okay we have to find this okay so we will not write this so 175 into 1039 we need to multiply it here 1039 into 175 okay 5 nines are 45 4 here 5 3 is a 15 plus 4 19 one goes here one and one will come here 5 into 5 now 7 9 is 63 7 3 is 21 plus 6 27 2 2 will come here 7 0 0 so 2 will come here 7 1 sir 7 put 2 crosses here 1 9 is 9 1 3 is 3 0 is 0 1 is 1 now add all 5, 9 plus 3, 12, 1 goes here, 7 plus 1, 8 plus 1, 9 plus 9, 18, 1 goes here, 5 plus 1, 6, 6 plus 2, 8 plus 3, 11, 1 goes here, 7 plus 1, 8 and 1. So we have got 1,81,000. Okay, after multiplying this, we have got this. So, write it here. Plus 3. Now, add 3 here. 5 plus 3. 8. 2, 8, 1, 8, 1. So, we have got 1, black, 81,828. Now, check whether this is equals to this or not. So, here, 1. 1,81,821 is equals to dividend. Hence, verified. Clear? 
now you have to do we have completed question number 10 here okay so question number 11 you have to try by yourself okay so it is homework for you next we will be doing question number 12 question number 12 in this question what is given find the dividend when divisor equals to 135 quotient equals to 78 and remainder equals to 29 i think question number 12 is very easy for you so try doing question number 12 also everything is given you have to check only use this process you will be easily finding it okay now we will be moving to question number 13 question number 13 in question number 13 it is asking divide the greatest number of six digits by the greatest number of three digits okay it's very simple first of all we will be writing we will be writing greatest number of six digit equals to nine 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 how many times six time that is nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine now greatest number so it is digits greatest number of three digits equals to nine 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 which is nine hundred and ninety nine so here we will divide nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine by 999 so here we will check first of all we will write division divide 9,99,999 divided by 999 so whatever the answer we will get we will write it here okay so start dividing here By 999 so 999 here 999 is a three digit number 999 is a three digit number okay so we'll take first three digit 999 ones are 999 simple subtract it we'll get zero okay now what comes down nine nine is a one digit number okay nine is a one digit number which is not divisible by 999 so 999 zeros are zero what comes down nine next is what 9 again the value is 99 again 99 is a two digit number which is not divisible by a three digit number here 999 is a three digit number so again take 999 into 0 equals to 0 you know this is one of the property of division when you are multiplying any number with 0 or 0 with any number the result will be zero so here one of the property is used so 99 what comes down nine here 
999 is a three digit number which is divisible by 999 so 999 ones are 999 so subtract it will get zero so here the quotient is what 1001 a remainder nothing so we'll write zero okay so what is the quotient we have got 1001 right here 1001 let's check the question once again what are the things this question is asking divide the greatest number of six digits by the greatest number of three digits so the division is over you have got the answer so here this exercise is over so next day in the next class we will be starting word problems on division till then bye bye